so today we're going to show you some tips and tricks for rideshare passengers, how you can be safe and cool things you might not have known about the Uber and Lyft passenger app. Well, I just got back from vacation and I videoed the vacation, which uh, you can see in the link right here, up there. If you're taking Uber or Lyft as a passenger on a regular basis, there are several safety issues which you might want to look at to make sure that you're always going to be safe in an Uber or Lyft vehicle. Now know that all drivers for Uber and Lyft have to go through a background check. If they don't pass the background check, then they can no longer drive for either of those platforms. Still, there are some things that you can do to make things a little better for you. So we're going to turn it over to my double here, and he's going to demonstrate and talk to you about where the best place to sit is. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. All right. Take so it away. if you are a female uh, passenger, you might want to consider sitting in the back. Uber and Lyft drivers have gone through a background check. Still, at the same time, yeah, that's you're getting right. in a strange car right. with a strange driver that you probably never saw before. And when you're sitting here in the front, he could reach over and, and stab you or... Uh, you know, pull a gun on you or pull a knife on you or you don't know what he's going to do. So this is probably not the best place to sit. Now, some people suggest that sitting in the back, especially female passengers, but male passengers also, you don't know. The driver might try to rob you. You want to discuss the idea of, uh, of uh, sitting in the back uh, for a little bit more uh, safety. If you feel so safety is an issue. You and know, it's my about hat. That, then you might want to consider sitting in the back. So there are different places you can sit in the back, right? So one place you can sit in the back is right here. You could sit here. And that way you have a diagonal view of the driver. And, uh, you know, you can see what the driver is doing. Now, some people say, and there's a discussion on the Internet about this issue, that this is not the best place to sit. Now, personally, when I take an Uber or Lyft as a passenger, this is where I'm going to sit. And that way I can defend myself, you know, maybe by, by kicking the driver. Are you going to give me my uh, hat I can back? defend myself uh, about anything that the driver might want to do. But some Stole people say sitting behind the driver, directly behind the driver, is a safer way to go. That might be the best place for you to sit because the driver can't reach around very easily to you know to stab you or or uh, poke you with a, a pin or, or or to touch you in some way uh, it's more difficult for the driver when you sit there so that is probably the safest place for you to sit I, because after all we don't know who this driver is you can also get a good look at the driver's navigation system you can see the driver's phone, which will be mounted at the front of his car. And you can just double check that the driver is actually taking you uh, along the route that's on the phone. Uh, he should be taking you to the place you want to be. Don't be so distracted and play with your own phone not to notice to make sure the driver is right. taking you in the right place. Check the license plate of the car. Make sure it matches what the app says the license plate is going to be. And check the description of the car and the uh, uh, picture of the car that's in the app. And there's a license plate in the front, license plate in the back. If there's no license plate in the front, then check around the back. Always check. It's all right to seem paranoid. It's just to double check. That's going to tell the driver that you're not somebody to mess with. 
Another thing to look for is see if the child safety lock in the door is engaged. And uh, I'll show you here what that looks like. If the safety lock is on, you cannot open the door from the inside. So once you close that door, you're a prisoner in the car. You don't want that lock to be on if you're a passenger, because if anything goes wrong, you want to be able to get out of that car. Okay, you're sitting in the back seat. The child safety lock is not engaged. You can open the door from the inside, but can you open the window? Most modern vehicles have a way for the driver to lock the back windows. This is also a child protection issue, but make sure that you can roll down your window. If the window doesn't roll down, ask the driver to turn off that feature. There are several kinds of Ubers that you can order. If it's just you or up to uh, four passengers, including you, then you can order an Uber X. In this car, we can fit three people in the back and one in the front passenger seat. Now, during the height of the pandemic last year, Uber was not allowing anyone to ride in the front seat, uh, the front passenger seat, so they had a rule that UberX could only accept three passengers. I don't bother so much anymore because uh, uh, I'm fully vaccinated. Uh, everyone's wearing a mask in the car still. So I will allow somebody to sit in the front seat if they need to. If you have more than four people, including yourself, you need to order Uber XL. If you don't like your driver for whatever reason, let's say the driver is being rude to you, then give that driver a star rating of three stars or less. If you give somebody, either with Uber or with Lyft, a three star rating, then Uber and Lyft will never match you with that driver again. You'll never see that driver again as your rideshare driver. If, uh, if you notice that the driver that's coming to pick you up has a low rating, then you might want to consider canceling before the driver gets to you. It just depends on you. Uh, maybe that driver has a low rating for uh, an unjustified or unfair reason. But generally speaking, if more than one person is giving this driver low ratings, his car may be dirty, or he may be driving recklessly, or some other factor like that. So you can see all about the driver in the app, both for Uber and Lyft. You can see the driver's name, you can see the, uh, the car, you can see the license plate, you can see what people say about the driver. You know more about the driver than the driver knows about you. One thing to know is the driver doesn't set the rates. Sometimes I get a message from a passenger on the way to pick up that passenger. Did my credit card go through? Well, I have no idea, but if the ride was sent to me by Uber or Lyft, then your credit card went through. What you pay as a passenger is more than what the driver gets as a driver. In fact, it's much less. Uber and Lyft don't pay the drivers enough. At the end of the ride, you can tip on the app and the driver will get 100% of your tip. Uh, Uber and Lyft don't take any cut of the tip. Both Uber and Lyft give you an opportunity when the ride is completed to say something nice about the driver. So there you have it, tips and information to keep you safe and informed when using Uber and Lyft as a passenger. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.